Okay, so uh, doing a, a test here with an LCD display uh, for something to have in the future. This is not available now, but um, it may be happening soon. So this is how this starts up. Um, this actually uses pins that are used for um, the enable for the motors, so uh, they should work together. I'm working on that now. The next version of my software will uh, probably have the ability for you to add a display. Let me go ahead and uh, uh, open it up. And then let me see what happens. Just and this right here, it's uh, showing you the feed rate, uh, it's actually going by line by line what the uh, command buffer is doing. The idea is um, I'm going to have a couple buttons on here so you can increase and decrease speed and uh, also uh, uh, increase and decrease uh, extruder rate and have a menu control. This is a ways out. I uh, This this isn't hooked up to anything. This is just uh, running uh, my um, Oop, my catalyst program, uh, excuse me, my um, G runner, which is just a test application. This is just showing you, okay, um, I've, I've got this code. I'm on this line. These are just the commands it's running now. What's interesting about this is this is actually showing me exactly what my uh, catalyst software shows me, which, and this is at 115 uh, 200 baud, so 115 k baud. So, uh, as long as uh, multiple commands are sent at once, uh, it seems like it's pretty quick at least quicker than running at 19.2 but uh, this is not the compressed version yet uh, this is just uh, <clears throat> a display that shows the feed rate that it's running at the X, the Y, the Z, and the extruder so let me go ahead and uh, so this this is uh, this controller is running hybrid code so let me go ahead and browse. You notice E says zero all the time right now. Go ahead and look for uh, 5D acceleration. What am I looking for? Ooh. Bear with me a second. I got it on here, I'm sure I do. So I'm looking for, um, all right, pendulum code. So uh, now I'm going to run 5D code because uh, the controller supports both. It's a hybrid. And let's see what happens. All right, so, so far, okay, we got E1. Must be doing a lot of thinking, getting wherever it's going. Let me reset. Okay, I just reset it from the control on the computer, and I'm going to go ahead and try to run this again. Mm-hmm. 
okay, whatever. Anyway, it's not communicating with me very well, or it's not working the way I wanted it to right now, but it's enough to show you that it's uh, coming. Uh, it's still a ways of work. So this uses six pins of the Arduino for the uh, LCD. Um, only one of those pins needs to be an unused pin, which is 19. Four of those pins are the uh, stepper enable, and then one of those pins is um, X direction. So none of those are happening while the display is updating. And uh, the motor won't even go on if you um, enable it for as brief time as the cell CD takes, then it won't enable. But <clears throat> anyway, the Arduino is capable of uh, running an LCD. Uh, uh, I'm running uh, actually, yeah, I'm, I, I added this LCD to my hybrid code. I'm going to update my hybrid code soon once I finish testing this and work out the bugs and uh, then add some more software uh, updates like uh, acceleration, instant acceleration and then uh, um, some other things to make it work faster but uh, the ultimate change will come when I decide to uh, create a new version of software that runs independent of the RepRap host and uh, utilizes compression and single byte transfers of data with built-in error correction. So right now, uh, when you send a message to the Arduino, you need to uh, accept it and say, okay, I got the message, it's good. And that turnaround time is what makes things so slow, even with fast communication. So if you can send information, and if it's corrupt, have the Arduino fix it right there, then uh, that's much faster. Anyway, thought you guys might want to see that um, LCD support is coming. Uh, this is um, this is the uh, 4-bit LCD driver from the driver library for the uh, uh, Arduino.